Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since I've been out in the woods and now that the UK lockdown restrictions are, have been eased a bit, we can get out and we can start doing a little bit of wild camping and enjoying the woodlands. So, today, what I'm going to do to celebrate this freedom is I'm going to settle down, make myself a nice steak, eggs and chips meal and I'm going to cook it all on the Bushbox XL. Ah, oh, that's better. I found these over in an opening over there where they've been working on the forest. Um, this will enable me to get the bush box up higher, more comfortable to work on. And I don't really want to have a fire down here on the ground in this grass. It will leave a, a great big scorch mark and um, that's not really the idea. When you come out wild camping, just don't leave a trace. Take everything away with you, put everything back where you found it as if no one's ever been there. That's what gives wild campers a good name. I'll show you a little bit about the bush box first of all. This is the XL Titanium. XL stands for extra large. They've got um, quite a range of bush boxes. This is the largest. It's an easily a two man cooker and um, I just love it. I've had the normal bush box for the stainless steel one for many many years I use it a lot it's very versatile but I've just got this titanium one and uh, I want to try it out really and what better opportunity to try it out than uh, my first day away from lockdown So I like to let the flames die down a bit, about this level, that's much better to cook on. If you keep it at this level, it's a lovely, lovely heat. Now you don't have to use it solely as a wood burning stove. And they've, they've thought a little bit about this and I'll show you what else you can use. I've also bought the, um, the ash pan tray, which is quite good because it fits in it nicely, gives it a really stable base. These um, these two trivet pins come with it as well and if you don't want to use them you don't have to but they're also very good uh, for moving it around you can pick this up and take it off the stand and move it to another place there's also three slots here at different heights that you can slide the trivets into and what that does that gives you a spacing which is ideal for a transier burner you can just slot that in there and it will hold it still and you can cook on top. Now because you've used the trivets to support your trangia, you've got nothing to put a cup on the top. You can either buy extra trivets or do what I've done. I just got myself some tent pegs and there's slots across the uh, body here that match up with each other. You could, of course, just use uh, four going one way. That'd be just as good. And then you've got a perfectly good stand for heating up a smaller pot. Then 
there's also these grill plates that you can get that sit on the top they they give you an additional platform if you don't want to muck around with um, with tent pegs and as well as this square plate they also do a much larger sort of double width plate that also uses the same slots and just clicks in nicely like that so you've got a larger cooking area and if you don't want to support the changer between these two trivets down there um, you could use this plate and all it does is fix in here and down which gives you a whole open area if you if you were cooking with a fry pan that would be perfect I prefer using my bush box as a wood burning stove you can keep the trivets on the top to support your pans and cups and things you can feed the fuel in here to keep the fire maintained it's got a, a plate on the bottom so you don't get ash everywhere your main ash pan is just here and above it is um, this plate with all holes in so you've got good airflow all the way around and to be honest that's probably the best way to use it as you'd expect being made in Germany the engineering quality well it's first class I mean all these hinge joints are just perfect all the cutouts line up perfectly when it folds down you don't have to press anything or force anything so it really is a lovely bit of engineering So that's all the ingredients for my dinner. Uh, I've just got to fire up the bush box now and I'll start preparing them.
Well folks, that's it. Steak, egg and chips cooked to perfection on the Bushbox XL to celebrate the UK lockdown freedom and at last we can get out while camping. Um, so, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Take care, stay safe and I'll see you on the next UK Preppers Guide video. Bye for now.